Hello, this is the Cambridge Flyers Practice Listening Test, Test 3. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. There are a lot of people at the lake today. Yes, it's very hot, isn't it? Who are they all? Well, the boy who's swimming is Richard. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Which girl is Helen? Is she here? She's over there, on the left. What's she doing? She's going to sail her boat. Oh, yes. I can see her now. She hasn't put it in the water yet. Who's that boy near the rocks? Which one? He's just jumped into the water. Oh, that's David, the boy who's shouting. Look at Emma. She's the girl who's standing by the lake. The girl with a towel? Yes, she's just come out of the water. Her hair's all wet. That's Michael over there. Which boy is he? The boy who's throwing a ball. Oh, yes, the tall boy. I like his red shorts. Is Katie here, too? Yes, she's over there, sitting on a towel. The girl with long hair? No, she's got short hair. I can see her. She's eating some biscuits. Now listen to part one again. Which girl is Helen? Is she here? She's over there, on the left. What's she doing? She's going to sail her boat. Oh, yes. I can see her now. She hasn't put it in the water yet. Who's that boy near the rocks? Which one? He's just jumped into the water. Oh, that's David, the boy who's shouting. Look at Emma. She's the girl who's standing by the lake. The girl with a towel? Yes, she's just come out of the water. Her hair's all wet. That's Michael over there. Which boy is he? The boy who's throwing a ball. Oh, yes, the tall boy. I like his red shorts. Is Katie here, too? Yes, she's over there, sitting on a towel. The girl with long hair? No, she's got short hair. I can see her. She's eating some biscuits. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. I'd like to come to your art club, please. OK. Let's see. Can I ask you some questions? First, what's your name? Anne Knight. How do you spell your surname? K-N-I-G-H-T. Thank you. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Now, Anne, how old are you? I'm 12. My birthday is the 15th of January. Right. OK. And where do you live, Anne? 
At 26 Salford Street. Is that S U L F O R D? No. S A L F O R D. Thank you. Next question. Which day would you like to come to the club? We meet every day after school. Um. I can only come on Tuesday. Is that OK? That's fine. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can. I can't come next week. Can I start the week after that? Of course you can. That's April the 22nd. Don't forget. OK. Thanks. My last question. What kind of things do you like painting? Animals? People? They're OK. But I like painting plants and trees best. Right. You'll enjoy our club, I'm sure. Now listen to part two again. Now, Anne, how old are you? I'm 12. My birthday is the 15th of January. Right. OK. And where do you live, Anne? At 26 Salford Street. Is that S-U-L-F-O-R-D? No. S-A-L-F-O-R-D. Thank you. Next question. Which day would you like to come to the club? We meet every day after school. Um, I can only come on Tuesday. Is that OK? That's fine. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can. I can't come next week. Can I start the week after that? Of course you can. That's April the 22nd. Don't forget. OK. Thanks. My last question. What kind of things do you like painting? Animals? People? They're OK. But I like painting plants and trees best. Right. You'll enjoy our club, I'm sure. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Mary and her husband, John, have gone camping, but Mary has left all these things at home. Where is each thing? What's the matter, Mary? Oh, John, when we go camping, I always forget to bring something. I can't find my soap, and I want to wash my hands. I've left it in the shower at home. Are you sure? Yes. Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. My hair is so untidy, but I can't find my brush anywhere in the tent. I think it's still by the mirror in the bedroom at home. Yes, I remember I saw it there yesterday. And it started raining again and I haven't got my umbrella with me. I remember I used it when I went shopping at the weekend. It was very wet when I got home, but I didn't put it on the balcony. That's where I usually put it. I put it in the bath this time, and it's still there. Oh, no. It's not a problem, Mary. The rain will stop soon. It was very dark in the night, and I needed my torch, too. I think I left it on top of the fridge at home. Did you see it there? Yes, I did. I forgot to pick it up too. But we can buy another one here. What do you want to do next? Um, I want to write a few things in my diary. Oh, no. I've left that at home too. I was writing in it yesterday when someone phoned. I left it on the kitchen table and forgot to put it back in my bag. Oh, dear. John, 
I'm cold and I'm hungry. Well, we can go and get some lunch. It's too early for that, but I've got some chocolate somewhere. Oh, no, it isn't here. I've left it next to the cooker in the kitchen. I don't believe it. How could that happen? Perhaps next time we should camp in our garden. John! Now listen to part three again. My hair is so untidy, but I can't find my brush anywhere in the tent. I think it's still by the mirror in the bedroom at home. Yes, I remember I saw it there yesterday. And it started raining again and I haven't got my umbrella with me. I remember I used it when I went shopping at the weekend. It was very wet when I got home, but I didn't put it on the balcony. That's where I usually put it. I put it in the bath this time, and it's still there. Oh, no. It's not a problem, Mary. The rain will stop soon. It was very dark in the night, and I needed my torch, too. I think I left it on top of the fridge at home. Did you see it there? Yes, I did. I forgot to pick it up too, but we can buy another one here. What do you want to do next? Um, I want to write a few things in my diary. Oh no, I've left that at home too. I was writing in it yesterday when someone phoned. I left it on the kitchen table and forgot to put it back in my bag. Oh dear. John. I'm cold and I'm hungry. Well, we can go and get some lunch. It's too early for that, but I've got some chocolate somewhere. Oh, no, it isn't here. I've left it next to the cooker in the kitchen. I don't believe it. How could that happen? Perhaps next time we should camp in our garden. John? That is the end of part three. Part 4. Listen and look. There is one example. What did William do in the school holidays? Hello, William. Did you enjoy the holidays? Yes, thanks. We went to London for a few days. Did you visit any museums or theatres? No, but we went to the circus. It was excellent. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. Who did William go with? Did you go with your mum and dad, William? Yes. What about your brother and sister? My brother came, but my sister didn't. 2. Where did William stay? What was your hotel like? Very nice. It was near a lovely park. Oh. Was it a big new hotel? No, it was small. 3. What did William have for breakfast? The breakfast in the hotel was excellent. What could you have? Oh, everything. There was coffee, cheese, fish, meat. Bread, cakes. So, what did you choose? I had bread and jam and a glass of milk every morning. 4. What did William buy? We went shopping one day. Oh, did you buy those gloves? No, they were a Christmas present. Did you buy anything? Yes, I got a new football. I saw a great rucksack, but it was too expensive. 5. Which film did William see? We went to see a film one night. Did you? Did you see Lost at Sea? No. We wanted to go to Coconut Island, but the cinema was full. So, what did you see? We saw The Blue Whale. 
It was good. Now listen to part four again. One. Who did William go with? Did you go with your mum and dad, William? Yes. What about your brother and sister? My brother came, but my sister didn't. Two. Where did William stay? What was your hotel like? Very nice. It was near a lovely park. Oh, was it a big new hotel? No, it was small. Three. What did William have for breakfast? The breakfast in the hotel was excellent. What could you have? Oh, everything. There was coffee, cheese, fish, meat, bread, cakes. So, what did you choose? I had bread and jam and a glass of milk every morning. Four. What did William buy? We went shopping one day. Oh, did you buy those gloves? No, they were a Christmas present. Did you buy anything? Yes, I got a new football. I saw a great rucksack, but it was too expensive. Five. Which film did William see? We went to see a film one night. Did you? Did you see Lost at Sea? No. We wanted to go to Coconut Island, but the cinema was full. So what did you see? We saw The Blue Whale. It was good. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Oh look, it's a picture of a hospital. Can I colour it? Of course you can. What shall I do first? Can you see the boy who's visiting someone? Yes. Shall I colour his sweater? Okay. Colour it green. Can you see the boy's green sweater? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw and write. One. Look at the boy who's lying in bed. The boy on the left of the picture. Yes. He's looking at a comic. Well, please colour it pink. Okay. Two. Next, I want you to find the nurse who's giving a boy some medicine. I can see her. She's got short hair. That's right. Can you colour her uniform, please? Yes. I'm going to colour it blue. Three. Now for some drawing. Excellent. Find the woman who's visiting someone. She's walking across the room. Draw some flowers in her hand. Right. I've done that. Can I colour them red? No, colour them yellow. Four. Would you like to write something now? Yes, please. Can you see the word hospital? Yes. Well, write the name city next to it.
five. Can I colour something else, please? OK. Find the glass. The one on the table? No, the one in the nurse's hand. Let's put some juice in it. Colour it orange. OK. That's nice. Now listen to part five again. One. Look at the boy who's lying in bed. The boy on the left of the picture? Yes. He's looking at a comic. Well, please colour it pink. OK. Two. Next, I want you to find the nurse who's giving a boy some medicine. I can see her. She's got short hair. That's right. Can you colour her uniform, please? Yes. I'm going to colour it blue. Three. Now for some drawing. Excellent. Find the woman who's visiting someone. She's walking across the room. Draw some flowers in her hand. Right. I've done that. Can I colour them red? No, colour them yellow. Four. Would you like to write something now? Yes, please. Can you see the word hospital? Yes. Well, write the name city next to it. Five. Can I colour something else, please? OK. Find the glass. The one on the table? No, the one in the nurse's hand. Let's put some juice in it. Colour it orange. OK. That's nice. That is the end of the Flyers' Practice Listening Test 3.